news of Wall Street's biggest known prostitution ring. New accusations that titans of the financial world were actually charging their companies for illicit sex. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, talked to the one-time madam who had nearly 10,000 high-powered yeah. clients. Yes, too, too much to be true, Brian. Indeed, Chris, the woman who ran Wall Street's biggest prostitution business says many of her CEO and investment banker customers paid for sex using their corporate credit cards. But then when she offered her evidence, her client list, to New York authorities, they didn't want to know about it. So she came to us. It was a secretive business known only to a wealthy elite called Davis Investments. There's investment in your fun, <laughs> in your happiness. 33-year-old Kristen Davis started Davis Investments after being fired from a hedge fund and went on to become a millionaire until she was busted last year. Have you heard from any of your clients since your arrest? Not one. No surprise. Davis Investments was just the front name used by Davis for what was a prostitution conglomerate, each subsidiary with its own website and set of girls and customers. The art of it is that we market to different price points. And Davis's little black book was actually a computer program she used to meticulously keep track of some 9,800 clients with their phone numbers, any special requirements, and their credit cards many of them charging the sex to their companies. Some of these guys I was invoicing on corporate cards. I was writing up uh, monthly bills for different, whatever they said it was for, computer consulting, construction expenses, you know, all of these different things. I was invoicing them monthly so they could get it by their accountant. Billed to the company? Yes. For prostitutes? Correct. Among the names we found listed, the CEO of one of the country's biggest private equity firms, the part owner of a major league baseball team, a vice president of NBC Universal, a major New York real estate developer who the girls were warned would come to the door wearing women's panties, a partner at the Wall Street law firm Cravath Swain Moore who, quote, was looking for a party girl to come fully equipped and investment bankers from Lehman Brothers, J.P. Morgan, Merrill Lynch, and Deutsche Bank USA. Clients who paid by credit card would only see charges for Davis Investments on their monthly statements. No worry about questions from accounting. That actually would be a felony because you're not only falsifying the records, you're doing it to cover up a crime. But when New York police busted Davis last year and she sought to make a deal, she says the district attorney had no interest in going after any of the corporate titans who were her customers. No interest? No interest. I, I as the proprietor of a business, get arrested and lose everything when no one that was frequenting my business or spending two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000 a year has been punished in any way or even looked into. Davis spent three months behind bars, had to forfeit a half million dollars in profit, and promised to never work in the sex business again. As for the district attorney's office here in Manhattan, a spokesman refused to comment on the Davis case or the alleged failure of the office to go after the wealthy men who used corporate money to pay for sex, Chris. Silver lining is this was all pre-TARP, right? So it's not tax dollars. Pre-TARP, but it gives you an idea of the corporate royalty and how they treated themselves and pampered themselves with corporate money. The culture. Brian, thank you so much.